<laughs> Welcome to season two of Holocraft. The rules are simple, same as last season, but this time stick to spawn. Uh, once we are done building the main buildings around spawn, we can start building outwards. But for now, stick together, have fun, and be Holocraft. Go! Yay! Why? Well, okay, is this? it in just is it, in three ion? Is it nah, this that I've been putting everywhere? This, mud. this special mud? No, no, nah, no, no, that's, no, no, that's no, fake no, no, mud. No, no. Oh, oh mud, okay. So. <laughs> this is diamond mud. As from yeah. the, Di yeah. Oh, diamond mud. Oh, jeez. Yes, yes, diamond mud. Okay, Time, okay. Time, don't oversell it. But yeah, yeah, we need some... Uh, <laughs> also, this as well. Wait, oh, yeah, we have these as well. Yeah, oh. Very special. Oh, are these, are those, these things? Bamboo. These things? And this as well. Oh, oh. This? Oh, but you don't have this. I bet you don't have this. Moss carpets. I have this. Oh, I do have moss carpets. Don't don't actually. give anything time. I do have oh, moss carpets. Uh -huh. there you go. Yeah. Uh, I, I do have. I some bet of those. you don't have this. No, I don't have that. Mm. No, I don't. Now, you don't have this. Would you be willing to make a trade? Possibly. For what? Yeah. What do you want? Three measly pieces of iron. Yes, don't just have. iron. We don't have any iron. <laughs> Time. Oh. Time. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Close thanks. Workshop. I'll take those. I'll, uh... No, just leave. Leave that. Time. Time. Come. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we don't <laughs> have any service. iron. Sorry, bros. Bye. God dang it. <laughs> Mission <laughs> failed. Get them next time. I do have obsidian. That way, up top, I can make like a little floating tower. I think is what I'm gonna do. I don't know out of what bricks, but then light the top of it on fire, so it's still like a beacon type thing. Yeah, yeah. So it's not the actual tree itself, but it's like a floating beacon with the top of it lit, so it's still. Honestly, why don't you? You should use some of that glow mushroom. Like glow tree. I have a bunch of that. I'm probably gonna get more. So. Okay. Yeah, I just want like something to still light it up, since everybody said it was kind of like a. A beacon. A beacon to spawn, but I just don't want it a jungle tree on fire. So I'm gonna make something floating up there. I don't know out of what, but I'll figure it out. Working on it. to the second season of Holocraft, but hey everyone, this is Cass, and welcome to season two! I got a skin change temporarily, I think, I'm not sure, um, but uh, we're a little late to the game here making an intro. We've got quite a bit of stuff set up already, I'm working on some stuff you see up here above my head, but we are all building around spawn and you can see two of my fellow people back there. We've got other people building over there and kind of all around, but this is our area with our little docks. I transplanted some mangroves over here. We are continually building stuff. Basically this season, I'm entirely focusing on a few things. I kind of set myself some rules just to stay within because I think, you know, they could be just really nice to do things that way. But um, some basic rules I'm giving myself this season. I will not be doing any villager trading since that's basically all I really paid attention to in the first season. 
Um, I also am just going to kind of do whatever feels right, whatever I feel like I want to do. Um, and that includes not necessarily building anything. I am not a builder in Minecraft. Um, and it kind of put me off a bit by I put too much pressure on myself last season to do some things that, you know, just aren't really what I normally focus on. As soon as I say that, by the way, this tower um, that you see going up to everything I have to work on above my head, uh, I've been building a bit. So I'm just going to kind of go with the flow, see how things kind of work out. That behind me right here is actually a villager breeder, but... We are off limits from that. As I said, I will not be doing anything with villagers this season. I want to actually uh, garden. <laughs> I want to harvest. I want to hunt. I want to just take my time and do things that feel right. And yeah, I don't know what it's going to turn into. I am basing with my IRL husband, who is Red Hat Hatred on here. Um, he is not currently on, but he's built kind of the thing right behind me, working on a storage thing, and then something over there that you saw with the cobblestone. I have only built this tower. The goal with this tower building setup is this will be leading up to our enchantment kind of area. So it's kind of just sputtered out right here, and that's a mixture of dripstone block and um, these things that I can't think of their name. <laughs> and then some dirt to widen out how much I want to widen it out in full. So when we spawned in, which you might see in the intro, we spawned in over here, basically, on this little patch of mangrove trees right in there. So this is all within spawn. But this used to be a jungle tree that was on fire. We have fire tick off. Um, so it didn't catch, but a lot of people in this area, like we have someone building over there. We have building going on over here. Um, quite a bit happening. And a pillager tower over there. And we've got builds going on over here. And builds happening, I think, over there as well. Um, but yeah, this was kind of like a centralized beacon, but I want to make it nicer. So the goal here is to kind of build up and then trail things down to still make this kind of like a beacon up here. Um, with the glow shrooms? Are they glow shrooms? I can't think of the right <laughs> word, but I'm going to make a floating enchantment area. The reason the enchantment area is so important is because, like I said, I am not using villagers this season, so I'm going to have to entirely rely on what enchantments I can get in order to be able to have silk touch, which, like I said, my goal, big goal this season is gardening and landscaping and bees. Bees is my big goal. So we will probably do an outfit change, but because this little spooky vibe doesn't quite fit that, but I know the perfect skin and I have it ready to go. That will match the gardening. <laughs> Time was here. <laughs> that will match the gardening theme of everything that I'm aiming for this season. So probably with throughout this episode, you'll see my skin change. Actually, I'm going to change my skin really quickly and then we will keep talking ah that feels a bit better this feels like this matches what i said i wanted to do in this season a little bit more this i feel like matches my aesthetic more of wanting to be a gardener a beekeeper and a landscaper so departing from my usual witchy purple vibes we're gonna go a little pastel this season and just have fun with it. So far, we've been busy trying to figure out things here. I'm sure you saw that we've just been exploring caves like crazy.
trying to light things up and our biggest goal originally was to find an amethyst, which is what I will be building our enchantment area up above that will be built right in that little area above my head. We will be using that as our enchantment area, which is so important and so vital this season because, like I said, I am not using any villagers this season. So it's just going to be luck of the draw, au naturel, and I better get lucky with some silk touch if I'm planning to bring bees up and in this area. But please be sure to check out all my fellow SMP members linked always in the description so you can see their incredible journeys, more of their incredible builds like you see around me, and I cannot wait to see what we pull off in this season two of Holocraft. So let's get down from here because our immediate goal is to build out this enchantment area and get Silk Touch. So let's get busy with that. So my first enchant 
is efficiency two, fortune one, and breaking three on an iron pick, though. So what did you just do? I got silk touch and efficiency three on two different diamond pickaxes. I got smite four, looting three, unbreaking three, and sweeping edge three on a sword. Nice. Looting three, too? Yeah. Dang, girl. That's huge. I know. That's insane. Uh, we should set up that. I found that skelly spawner. I need to go, like, I'm not going to make you it a big farm. Really I was going to say, that. I'm not going to make a big farm because my whole thing this season is not making farms, you know? So I don't think I'm going to turn it into, like, farm status, but I will set it up at least enough so we could get some bones and stuff from it. This is probably going to be a little loud, but I think I discussed how in this season I am only going to basically be in iron gear. I'm debating some uh, diamond tools, but I'm not doing diamond armor. I'm not. I probably reiterated this point, I don't know, 20 times in here, so hopefully you don't hear it too many times. But... I am only going to, uh, basically I'm not training with villagers. I'm not doing any of the stuff I did last season, the stuff I normally do. I'm trying to take it real slow, go real, real, real slow. And uh, you can see my little scaly friends behind me, just like not making farms, but this was the most basic one you could do. I've gone through so many swords. In here specifically, I think... I've kept aside some of the leather boots and some of the bows. Um, and this is the only item that I've actually enchanted in the enchantment table so far. But you could hear them like changing clothes. <laughs> but I've been stacking their stuff up in here along with bones, making bone blocks and stuff. But part of me kind of, I'm switching it up as I go. But part of me kind of only wants to wear what I get from the spawner or use what I get, like, obviously I can't get any of these tools from them enchanted, but only using the bows and the armor that I get enchanted from them. So like, obviously combining these three together since they're leather boots, there'll be some pretty dope leather boots, but like fire protection and breaking one, aqua affinity and respiration, like their leather armor, I get that, but Look, like if I combined some of these together, like had these fancy pants, I, I, it might be a thing. I might, I don't know, it might be my thing. It might be my thing. I might be wearing all the armor from the boat, the bros behind me. <laughs> I think that's what we're going to do. So I think I'm going to end this video here in a minute. I'm trying to get to level 35 first. Sorry, all the rattling bones there. I'm trying to get to 35 first to go enchant some of my tools. Now again, like I said, I'm a little, you know, curious if I'm gonna do any of these as diamond or if I'm going to keep them all iron and just enchant my iron like I did with that pickaxe. Um, but I think all my armor is gonna come from the bow. Why do I keep saying the bows? It's like I wanna see the bones and the bros at the same time, so the bows. <laughs> Anyway, let's get level 35, see what we're going to make our final decisions on, what armor I'm going to wear, which I think it's going to be only from the skeletons all combined together. The big question is, let's get level 35, figure out if we're going to do diamond armor and enchant it, and then whatever ch enchants we get is what we get. I'm not trading with villagers. I don't, I was debating buying mending books. But I don't even think I'm going to do that. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, 
We are back. I might be spoiling stuff. Red's video is not out. As I keep spinning around, this is the storage room he's been building for us. But spoilers included, we are back and we, I think, have officially decided that we are just going to uh, do the enchantment based on the stuff that I found from the skeletons. I still haven't made a decision about tools, but I think for the first round for a while, I'm going to stick with iron tools. So let's, I'm going to make a new sword, but then we will go up and enchant these the best that I can. And I'm going to keep my diamonds instead for buying other things from other people when they have goodies. But I just love coming back in and seeing all the progress that everyone has done. This is JLD above my head. This is Date. That is the villager trading hall. Bree is back behind that tree. And then, of course, um, Wired is, 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 is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wired is right there. And then time. <laughs> Let's just moonwalk some more. Ooh, time is... Oh, we're building boathouse. And this is time back here. Um, but I believe everybody's already put out some videos first, so I'm not spoiling anything here. But please, like I said before, go check all of them out as well. Let's go get enchanting and get all the gear that I, oops, not saving screenshots. This, these are all the three bows I'm going to combine, which feel good. I'm going to combine these two for my armor. And then I'm going to combine fire protection, aqua affinity respiration one, and I'm breaking one for a helmet. And then protection three, depth strider two, depth strider two, which I don't, is there a depth strider three? I almost feel like there's not. So then this will just combine for durability, which is fine. And then I'm breaking two. But we are going to enchant these first. Like I said, I already have the efficiency two, fortune one, and unbreaking two pick. Um, I would love silk touch. So we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully we can get lucky. We'll do these first. And then with enchantment points left over, we'll take care of these. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to ride or die it with the um, sticking with whatever I get from that skeleton spawner. I think it's a fun challenge. I think it's going to be a way just to do something a little different. Cause every time I usually get in, I'm so like, got to get villagers, got to do this. I get like almost stressed about trying to keep up with everything. And I'm hoping that I showed um, this and some time lapses. Okay. So we're going to go up there and enchant and get our fingers crossed and see what we get. Hopefully we get lucky. Let's go. I didn't ask for visitors, bro. Oh my god. How is he shooting through my shield? I call BS. I was just trying to enchant my stuff. Leave me alone. We're not friends. Go away. 
I'm worried about people's villagers. Oh my god! <laughs> no! No, go away! Y'all are jerks, you know that? Forget you! Forget you! Oh, I'm so stressed. I think there's villagers. There's villagers like right there. I really don't want to kill the captain. Which one's the captain? That's something. How close can I get before they get all stupid? <laughs> how come it's not hitting him? Ah! I don't want to kill your captain. You guys, please shoot your captain for me. Oh my god, his are going through my shield. That's crap. I call crap. That's not fair. You cheating. <laughs> Watch out, birds! Just traipsing through, excuse me. Ow. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let's be smart. Let's see. Ha. Okay, I think we got, what, two more? I just don't want to kill the captain. Like, that's, this was impromptu. I was not expecting this to happen. I was just trying to go over to my anvil. It's fine. All I can see is the right, he's fine. Leave him there. Ignore him. We don't need to be friends. We don't need to hang out. We don't need to kill him. It's cool. Oh, I left one of you bros behind. <laughs> Bye, dude. I don't want the captain. That's the one thing that I'm like, don't want. Anyway, I was trying to go over there to my uh, anvil. It's like, hey, combine all my goodies. Oh, I got arrow in the back of my head. Come on, let me sleep. Normally, I'm such a voiceover girl. Okay. For reals this time. Hopefully I'm not going to be rudely interrupted. Yeah, I was just trying to run over here to my anvil. Let's go. Five is that way. Eleven. Shoosh. What are these costing to put together? Eleven. Three. Okay, I'll take it. Twelve. And breaking three, power three. I don't need to combine them. Oh, I messed up. That's okay. Now we have a power one unbreaking bow that we could save. Um, next up to me is these nine. We'll go five. Hopefully I get another pair so I could fix those up more. What is this one? Fire protection. Four. Five. Or what? Oh, 13. I'm going to be out of levels already. Okay, so let's put this on. What else did I do? My pants. I'm going to be colorful. My bow, I got my enchanted stuff. Oh, I wanted to do, my <laughs> anvil's going to break. Oh, 15. Oh, but I can't. I can't have smite and sharpness, huh? Just kidding. Well, we can disenchant that one. Let's see if we can at least get my boots. Depth Strider, Depth Strider. There is no such. Oh, there's a Depth Strider 3. 17, 6, and breaking a depth strider, so then we still need 13 to combine these, so honestly, I'm probably going to go back down, um, and then I will put this back down there, I will unenchant this real quick, yeah, I'm going to go back down and get more levels, get that done. Maybe while that's happening. I wish I had looting, but we're rolling with what we get. Um, 
Maybe I could get another pair of booties to make the durability better on this too. Um, but yeah, let's go disenchant this sword and then I will be back and check in with you guys after I feel like I'm pretty geared up with levels and have all my stuff together. And that's where we'll probably end this episode. Well, I've been running back and forth quite a bit. Uh, you can see I'm pretty gold and shiny. The funny part was I thought most of what I was gonna be wearing would be leather, so I'm a little shocked. Not shocked, that's the wrong word. I'm a little surprised that so much of it is gold and I'm going for gold shoes. Let me show you all the enchants. So here we have a leather cap, which has aqua affinity, respiration one, unbreaking one, and fire protection one. So not great, but it's all we got. <laughs> Next, I have protection three and unbreaking two on a chest plate. However, I've been trying to get it to go with this one, which is Blast Protection 3 and Unbreaking 3. I think I just want Protection 3 instead of Blast Protection to be the main one. So probably, I believe it's this goes in first and then this, but just trying to get the durability up. Maybe I don't have to do that because I had found this one when I was out. I found it in one of those like drowned temple things so mending so this is going to be probably the, one of the only pieces that has mending on it um i did find a gold helmet that has mending but as we can see right now obviously i'm wearing a little leather hat the next one i'm trying to combine is are are these two so power for infinity and flame one which is great on its own but i would love to get it with either the punch or the unbreaking specifically unbreaking because i want that to last as long as it can and then the last ones I'm trying to do are probably like a combination of these three depend upon. So I'm going to have leather on top and on my feet and then gold in the middle. But yeah, I mean, here's, I don't know if I showed all this. I don't even know if I was recording. I said I was going to, but we ended up with smite four, knockback two, which I'm not thrilled about, but it is what it is. And breaking three, sweeping edge three. And then we have fortune three, efficiency four. Silk touch on this backup one. Uh, I wish this had unbreaking, but you know, I can continue to enchant. We'll see. I can always keep combining things. I think honestly, that will be my point to repair these. Um, that'll kind of be what I'll be doing. Um, and then my ax has efficiency four, fortune three. I got a lot of fortune because on my iron shovels, I'm breaking three, efficiency four, and fortune three. And then, yeah, that's kind of where I'm ending up with. But that's where we're going to call it. I have quite a bit of grinding work. As you can tell, I only have two levels. So I've just gone up and down a handful of times trying to get everything together so that I can be all shiny and pretty and protected but hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you checked out um, me being able to build the tower. And make sure you check out everyone because next episode we will be actually taking our time kind of developing the area. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We will be developing the area around here more. How you see that we have all of the little farms kind of around up front. I'm actually going to be all of these farms that we see around here. I still need to build my little snot nose guy a little spot, but how we have all these farms kind of around here and we've got the mud and the roots and everything spread around. My goal is to, within the next episode, keep all of this going. Um, you know, I'm putting cactus and stuff, getting some stuff spread out. I'm probably going to get rid of this little area. Um, but my main goal is to keep going since I got rid of the bamboo all around here. It's a little boathouse. Um, making this all farms. I want to get the outer edge done first in next episode. Um, and then after that, we'll make like all this stuff have little pathways and make it much prettier. But the reason, and I don't know if I said this, I've been filming this episode off and on for a couple of weeks. As you can see, other people have built a lot, released 
multiple videos. Um, but this little path of this diorite here is actually where I have already started to carve everything back. So there wasn't any of this water that was really coming this way, but I've been pulling it back and my goal is to basically have it cut back, extend the water all the way back over here to connect up. I might connect it up right here where this is. Oh, I didn't even know this was here. Now I'm stuck. Didn't even know that hole was there, but my main goal, like <laughs> I might connect it to there. We'll see, but it is to connect it somewhere here along this path and carry the water out make it flush and that way we are kind of like our own little island um yeah i believe it connects all the way over here so i mean obviously tidy this up honestly probably cut it back to connect right here down through this and maybe make this like a little path that you can go on with your boats i don't know if i can make this jump Oh, barely. <laughs> Thanks, vines. But connect this up through here. So we kind of have our own little like floating island, I guess, kind of situation. That's kind of the goal. But hopefully everyone enjoyed this first episode. That's where we're going to leave it. That's all the stuff that's coming in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and welcome back to Holocraft Season 2. Let's get going. Bye! Live <laughs> reactions <laughs> to our spawn. <laughs> 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 this is all gold. <laughs> this is my intro right gold. here. If you don't think this is my intro, <laughs> you're kidding yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let me introduce you to season two. Everyone, please log in. <laughs> Ooh. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Going I'm in. I'm nervous. I'm stressed. So Logging in. Encrypting. Loading terrain. Hello. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. What? What? Negotiating. I see a jungle, jungle tree, tree on fire. No. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. We all spawned on top of <laughs> in different oh spots. Oh my god. No, no. Uh, uh, I think you Why guys are on the old server. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, no, wait, there's a few. I am oh there. no, you were way over there. Yeah, I was in the old server. I'm like, I'm like, da, 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 da. How do I drop uh, an item? There we go. God, it's been that long <laughs> since I played. I'm like, wow. how do I drop anything? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I had to think about that one. <laughs>